Uh, Zoo. Zoo is panicking. They are panicking. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are live and we are direct. I tell you the truth. It doesn't, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're holding my life, you take it. There's your putinaki. Was showing cannot corrupt. Hey guys, why is it not the uh recent brokers, live brokers, you know? Still some very interesting topic that we need to discuss and we need to pay attention on them. It has this mind to, uh, you know, to protect the interests of their friends. Mazina Dikani made it clear that Nigerian government, the Nigerian security agency, the Nigerian um, corruption tax force should stay clear from former president, Gulob Jonathan's wife. He emphasized that if Nigeria is really fighting corruption, that they should go back and investigate other corrupt leaders. That they should investigate Obasanjo's wife. They should investigate even Yaradua, um, the dead um, Abakari. They should investigate Arifai. They should investigate all former leaders. And they should investigate also current leader's wife, Aisha Buhari. Mazina Dikari also emphasized that Aisha Buhari is not elected officer, so she's not capable of having such a money to buy about 500 bags of rice. So Mazina Dikari reckoned that that can only happen in a corrupt country. He also emphasized that Good Luck Jonathan has been very gentle and quiet because he's seeking other position from the United Nations. This Mazin Nandika did not, you know, buy because he felt that Judo Jonathan could have done a lot for the eastern region. He refused to do that to the eastern and the southern region and the south-south region. So through his broadcast, Mazin Nandika also emphasized that he is alive, that those that thought he's gone, that those are making mistakes. He mocked onto Nigeria and he mocked the Yoruba media. <laughs> they are panicking. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> they are panicking. <laughs> Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. <laughs> Their friends are coming back to my page. <laughs> Yoruba. It is the truth. Let's look on to these things, you know. You know, my proportion today is what do you think about Mars Nandikano? You know, the, he has a very legitimate uh, argument against Nigerian. Now, when we look around the situation in Nigerian and we look around the stand of the people, we all understand that the leader of uh, indigenous people of Biafra, which is my, happened to be Mars Nandikano, is seriously seeking for independence from Nigeria. Biafras around the world emphasize that if the war should grant them Biafra, that they gave the war 20 years to catch up with many first world nations. They, they emphasize that if they have to go to Biafra, that Biafra will be even more attracted than people traveling to the United States of America, Japan, Australia, those places that you thought that technologies are all functioning, but Biafra reckoned that they would develop their nation to superpower. I think this sends a very intimidating me message to Nigeria and neighboring countries. Do you think in such achievement will be, you know, be able to happen in Africa, whereby many countries are scared of the first world countries? Nandi Khan is presently residing in the United States, in, in, in the United Kingdom. You know, I know United Kingdom is a country that have a lot of intelligent officers and the government make use of every piece of information they got. They are fully aware of Nandi Kano. They are fully aware of Nandi Kano battle with Nigeria to seek independence. Why is you cannot listen to Nandi Kano? Is the Western world interest in Nigeria beyond humanity? Why is America not listening to Mazi Nandikano? 
Nani kind of, you know, always publicly state that his interest is to ensure that the Biafra land, which encompasses South South and Southeast and Eastern Nigeria, uh, that he want go right away. He want good education. He want good schools. He want steady electricity, and he want people to be able to be employed after graduation. He want Biafrans to involve in scientists. He want Biafrans to involve in engineering. He also thought about he want Biafra to be highly equipped. So Biafra, according to Martin Nandika, will not just be a nation. It will be a nation of policing and a nation of monitoring. You know, how can he achieve this? You know, we wonder, you know, from his, you know, recent broadcast, we heard a lot and we can get depth into Martin Nandikano's IQ. Was Tai Sholari not corrupt? Name one Yoruba man that isn't corrupt. Name one. Kamboya Koboku, name one that is good. I said name one. Tell me a Yoruba man that served in the public office and went back with integrity or her integrity intact. Name one person. You can't. Can you? Yoruba should stop supporting evil. Yoruba, stop supporting evil. You may not like it, and quite frankly, I do not give a damn. If you like it, oh, if you don't like it, oh, it doesn't bother me. Because we preach the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You cannot gain anything. And leave Jonathan alone. Leave patience alone. He, 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 he can even maybe toy with Jonathan a little bit, but patience, you must leave her alone. You must. You must. In fact, you ask, let us go. Who, who is the idiot who is looking for, 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 for patience to start with? Let us see who the, who the idiot is looking for patience. Ka, 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 go warrior. Mad people. Bloomberg reports that the banks told to provide the bank details of Jonathan and others in Blue Group. Who asked for it? The Attorney General of the zoo was quoted by the court documents as asking for information contained. Okay. IPOB, you have a standing order. I want to know everything there is to know about that little criminal. That boy called Abubakar Malami, the grades he scored in school, the schools he went to, the lecturers he bribed. I know he's a quota graduate of law. I want to know everything about him. I want to set an example with him that others may learn. This, this boy, Abubakar Malami, I will set an example with you that others may learn. I don't care what you do. You will see, President Jonathan is untouchable. 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 Since we are now in the business of writing letters, I wrote one to IMF now, you're writing to, uh, and to World Bank now, you're writing to banks. Let us up the game. We are now going to write to banks all over the world to give us the bank accounts of every Fulani criminal, including Abakari family. You want to write letter? We are now going to write letters now. We are now going to inform every bank in the world, and we know where the monies are hidden. I warned you. You don't go after patients, Jonathan. You don't try that rubbish at all, at all, at all. They say and you don't go after her. I don't know who they are, but you can't go after them without going after Aisha Buhari that is wanted in America for fraud. Harley Burton bribery scandal. She is involved. You have not asked for the bank account of Aisha Buhari. You have not asked for the bank account of Ibrahim Lamode. You have not asked for the bank account of Yusuf Buhari, the fourth largest, should I say, the, 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 the fourth richest man in Africa. You're going after patience, Jonathan. Because Jonathan is a gentle man, he's quiet. He, he wants one Nigeria. He's a statesman. He wants UN to call him and give him uh, uh, justice of peace. You can do whatever you like with Jonathan. 
Yet you see patience. No agalaga, no go area, no go area at all at all at all. Where did I shall get the money to buy 18 trailer load of rice? From where, I ask you? From where? Where did she get the money from? You, you, you know, we understand that he is somebody, a man of integrity, if I may say that. He also, you know, don't hold back to attack those he felt a threat to his um, campaign. Mazi Inlandi kind of understand that most of the media are being controlled by the Southwest, which are dominated by Yorubas. And Yorubas have these similar allies to the Northerners because they felt if the Biafra should go, there would be a problem between the Yoruba and the Aosas. So for them to stick in, they would rather align with the Aosas than the Igbos. This sometimes, you know, gets into Mazi and the Kano's names that makes him to broadcast against the Yorubas. We understand that Yorubas have been given more opportunity to lead Nigerian than the Igbos. And Mazi and the capitalize on that, that the Yorubas thought that the Igbos are corrupt. He named one of the most famous, one of the famous author, you know, many of you people have gone through his book by the name of Soyinka. He named that Soyinka is corrupt. You know, Mazin Nandi can recall, recollect the position he played during Jonathan, uh, Good Luck Jonathan's time. His art book, his threat to Jonathan's reign. But during Buhari, who we can say has less 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 empathy on humanity or have less to do with human rights that we expect people like Tsuinka to come up and speak out. He refused to speak out. He collected bribe. He stopped speaking out. Mazi Nani Kano also emphasized in some pastors. You know, people may think he's attacking the pastor, but let's take a look at some of the programs or some of the you know, tactics and some of the things some of these pastors did during good luck. Because good luck is from the South South, a side being, you know, being uh, classified as Biafran land. They came out and campaigned on the street, including today Bakare, including Bishop Adeboye. All the bishop has the right to come out then and speak in because good luck was so gentle, was very tolerant to them. They, they utilize that opportunity to, to bully him. Today, Nandi Kano, who is now seeking for freedom for beer France, you know, have to attack them back. I don't blame you, I blame Jonathan. I blame Jonathan. I blame the idiots that call themselves Niger Delta. I blame the bastards that call themselves Niger Delta. The, the hopeless fools, I blame them. A former first lady albeit in a zoo, you want to ask for her account. Hey, Chineke, thank you very much. Now, since we are all going to be investigators now, every account, every money in that account belonging to Fulani, every money belonging to Tinubu, Tifnubu, we want it. So we can also write to them. You know what, you know IPOB. One order tonight, everything we say will start trending all over the world. Number one in the world, not even two or three. Are you aware? You want us to, to, since you don't have the fear, there is no fear, Malami, you don't have the fear to go after patients, Jonathan. All of you are fair game. All of you are fair game, all of you. Full of criminals in Doshi. All of you criminals with your hotels in Dubai, with your estates in Dubai, you are gone. And even those hiding their loot in China. You think you're safe? Do you, th you think you're safe? That somehow China will save you? You are drunk. You are mad. You're asking for the account. So when they ask you, why did you mismanage the economy? You say, oh, it's a Jonathan and Peshens and the Zian. Hey, they took all the money. Ah. 
All the money you've been laundering through Dangote, you think we don't know? So somebody can become a multi-billionaire in the whole of Africa with pasta, rice, and sugar. Then you gave him a monopoly? Do you think? He literally emphasized that they should stay away from his wife. And another lady that Nigeria accused of stolen so much billions of naira or billions of dollars. Nandi told Nigeria Katrugu, Nandi told Nigeria clearly on his last broker that those people are protected by the Bia France, um, what they call it, BSS or what BIA, one of the Bia France security agency. I don't know. So let's finalize and look into this scene. Is my Nandi can make it right? You know, we find that this young man is growing day by day. He's actually, you know, some of the Nigerian medias find it very difficult to get news from the Asorok, find it very difficult to get news from other top places. How someone all the way to UK getting such an information, incredible information. You know, you remember before Abakari being announced, now they cannot have announced it for two weeks before Nigerians we know. Nigerians actually goes to Nandi Kanu, peeping on his, you know, news or Facebook to get some information what is happening in the town. Is Nandi Kanu the answer to Africa? Should African countries support Nandi Kanu to seek the Republic of Biafra? Nandi Kanu emphasized that if Biafra should be given freedom, that Africa will be free. Is that right? We want you to make your own conclusion. Should Nandi Kanu sh be invited by OAU for a referendum or should Africa wait for Nandi Kanu to get his hand on arm because the way things are going it may get ugly. Law Obi, the future you see.